Welcome back. So in this video, we're going to learn how to use the smoke effect. So let's do the same thing we did last time. I left the platform in here. You can create one. If you don't have one, it's just a block that I've stretched out. So let's go ahead and add a sphere again, change the size to one. And then rename this to smoke source. Okay. And we do the same thing we did last time. We can go in here into the effects section of the model menu, and we could add smoke that way. Uh, let me show you another way to do it though. If you click on your part here, or if you hover over it, there's a little plus sign and you can actually use that if you scroll down, there's a ton of stuff that you can add. You can scroll until you get to the effects, and here it is, here's the smoke effect. Uh, the other thing you can do is just type it in. You can start typing it, and it will auto-complete and show you the smoke effect as well. And that does it as well. So either way, you can attach a smoke effect. And we have smoke coming off of our sphere. And let's see what kind of properties we can change for the smoke effect. Uh, you can always turn it off with the Enable button. gone. You can turn it back on. You can change the color. So I can make it a purple or violet smoke. It looks pretty good. I can uh, change the opacity, how transparent this stuff is. So if I make this, oh, whoops, I think one. Oh, I didn't know you could do 3.5. I would think one would be the, the largest value. Um, and then you can make it kind of transparent or go away if you hit zero. Yeah, you can't see it at all. So um, whatever value you like, I guess I'll leave it at 0 0.5. See what that looks like. Yeah, that looks good. You can kind of see through it. Uh, and then we have a rise velocity. So this, you can make, uh, this makes the, ro the smoke rise faster. So I'll make it a 10, let's see what happens. And there it goes, and it is going very fast. Let's make that a five. That's better. Okay, let me kind of change my camera angle so you can see this a little bit. Um, and let me change the opacity back to one. That's good. Okay, and then the size, you can make this bigger. So let's make that a five. And you can see that this gets, this bung becomes a much bigger smoke cloud. And the time scale, you can uh, actually slow this down like we did with the sparkles. Let's see, yeah, kind of nice. I like that. So I'll make that a 0.5. Okay, and that's kind of it. Um, again, you could, you know, get rid of your source, make that transparent, and turn off can collide so that you can pass right through it. And you have a smoke cloud here. Let's um, let's test this out. So if we push play, I don't know if I've anchored that sphere actually. I did not. <laughs> I forgot to anchor the sphere. So let me go back. Let me go back and anchor the smoke source, and then push play. Okay, and we have a smoke cloud that I can pass through. Okay, and that is the smoke effect. Let me stop this. All right, great. So that was another effect that's built into Roblox Studio. We'll stop here and we will learn another effect in the next video.